we have to, I have to accept that the meeting is being recorded. Uh, we haven't had that recently. I'm not sure what makes the difference, but there we go. We should probably mute all then. Yes. Okay. I will mute everybody. Saying welcome to people who are just joining. Hello, Maria, Yukiko, Dita. Hello. Welcome. All right. So a couple of announcements. Um, tomorrow, Rita will be doing her regular practice session. That's at 11, isn't it, Rita? Just give me a thumbs up. Yes, 11 o'clock on Tuesday, but that will be the last practice uh, for this section. Um, when the new section one starts, it will be taught twice a week by Dee Dee, so there won't be a separate practice session. Also, we've just been discussing that because so few people are left, there are a few more people here, we're not sure that we're going to have a class next week because so many people are saying they're going to do things for Memorial Day. So I'll check in with you, uh, since more people have joined us now, I'll check in with you a little later on that, okay? But I, uh, as we were saying, it's the first time people are starting to go out and do things because um, we're, we're, get, we're making improvement in COVID. And so I think for Memorial Day, a lot of people are actually trying to do things this year. So that'd be kind of fun for people. All right, well, let's have our class today for our review class. Um, last week, we got through Grasp the Bird's Tail, Single Whip, and Raise Hands and Step Forward for review. We'll be starting today with White Crane, but first we're going to do section one together. So this is where we all do section one all the way through. I will be going in the same direction as you, so you'll see me moving this way. Uh, and let's just go ahead and do that, do the best you can, and then we'll come back and start reviewing some specific moves. Always during our review portion, if you have questions, I hope you'll speak up, all right? And this is just a chance to reinforce as much as you can from the class. So let's begin from our prepare. And uh, one of the things we want to take away from this experience in Tai Chi is that when we prepare for Tai Chi, we're getting into a body shape that's different than just hanging around. I've got my head lifted and the rest of my body <sighs> suspended down. My feet are on the ground. Make sure you can feel your whole foot on the ground. And I'm breathing naturally through my abdomen. This is prepare. Opening, rotate arms, lift up, coming up in front of you to shoulder height. Then start floating arms down, upper arm, middle arm, hands, almost to the bottom. Left, ward off. Shift a little left, turn your whole body as you open the foot. Move weight to the right foot, circle your arms. Bend, close step, move into a bow step as you lift the left arm, push down right. Right ward off. Shifting to the right, arm comes across. Shift to the left, grab with the left arm. Your arms are open. You're going to close step, move forward, into a bow step for right ward off. Roll back, upper body turns, arms rotate. And now shift your weight back and bring your arms over to the left. Press, circle the right arm in, put the left arm on the hand on the forearm, expand forward as you move forward into your bow step. Push, open your arms square, come back, and then get over a ball, arms down in front of your chest, and push forward, fingertips up. Single whip. Move weight back and flatten your hands. As you turn, bend that left arm. You're pulling someone around. Pivot on the heel of the right foot. Circle round. Your arms, hands are in front of you, palms down. Make a hook. See your left palm. Lift left step. Rotate and strike. Raise hands, step forward. Move to the right, turn left foot in. Move left, open hook. Arm circle, heel touches. You're in an empty stance with the heel down. White crane. Pull down. Close step. And spread your wings. 
Right arm up, palm out, left down. Empty stance, ball touch. Left brush knee. Rotate, see your right palm. Lift left, right down, swing and step. Arm in, sweep and strike. You're to the nine o'clock position. Handstrom salute. Yielding forward, touch in. Push back with the toe. Heel touch, rock 30%, left arms higher than right. Left brush knee, see your right palm, swing and step out for a bow stance. Arm in and then strike forward. Right uh, brush knee, move back and lift left arm. Your arms close, but your body opens to the corner. Swing, step, sweep and strike. Same for the left, shift back to middle, lift up. Arms close, move, swing, step. Arm in and strike. Handstrom salute. Someone's grabbing you, you yield forward, touch in. Push back on the toe, heel touch, empty stance. Left brush knee, step. Step forward. Parry, block, and punch. Shift back, part way, lift. And then move forward, make a fist, turning, fist palm down, step one line, two sides, forward. You're turning as you reach out with the left hand. Your fist comes forward, punch straight from the shoulder, left palm across from the forearm. Apparent closing up. Turn a little left palm down. Left palm comes under the right arm. Shift back and separate your arms. Turn square and push forward. Cross hands. Shift to middle, turn, cross, and chop. Shift left, your palms are back. You close them and step. I'm gonna turn around so that you are, your hands are down. And now you lift up with the right against the left and you're in double ward off. Now we'll do the closing. I stand and extend my arms straight out in front with the palms up. I circle and push down. I pause here, pause, and then go back to your beginning position. And that is our section one. All right, let me just check in, see people. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Carol on your iPad. Hi, Rebecca. Great. Okay, good to see you here. At first, when there were very few people here, so we weren't sure about uh, who was coming today, but glad to see you all here. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the white crane move uh, to review that uh, today and then move on to review more. All right, so... The white crane uh, move starts, I'm going to face you as we talk about this. We've done a uh, raise hands, step forward. I'm in an empty stance on my heel edge. Remember the empty stance is the one line and my feet are on either side of the line, but never crossed. I never want to hit myself. So I'm standing with my full heel down, but my weight is sitting back. That's my empty stance. My right arm is higher than my left, and my left fingertips point to my middle forearm. So there's my left hand pointing to that middle forearm, okay? So this is the position I finished in for a white crane. To do, uh, for a raise hand step forward. For a white crane, well, let's do it together and then we'll talk about it. I'm going to start a tiny turn and I rotate my hand. So now my right palm is out and I see my left hand. Now I rock back and pull down and I circle my arms and step with my foot to the corner. So now my arms are closed. They look like this. I move my weight onto the right foot, turn my body, touch with the ball and I finish in an empty stance with my right hand overhead, 70% of the weight back. So the final position is I'm in an empty stance. Again, a narrow stance, but now it's the ball of my foot and my hand is overhead and I'm pushing down left, okay? 
So let's talk about the footwork because we have to do some body shifting and I want to see if that's feeling comfortable for people. So let me start, uh, I'm gonna start facing this way. The uh, white crane position, uh, the brace hands position, I'm right here. So I'm, I'm on the heel, I'm really heavy on the heel. I have to get rid of that because I need to be able to pick up this right foot. So I shift and I rock back. See how my toe comes up and that frees it up. Then I'm going to pick up the foot and put it to the corner so it's parallel to the other foot. Then when I shift my weight, I have to turn my hips and pivot this foot, bring the left foot in and touch with the ball for an empty stance. So that shifting of weight is what allows you to turn your body properly. If I don't rock back, if I don't rock back, I, I can't really pick up that foot. So that's the idea of getting rid of weight to free up a foot. That's an important idea to take away from this, all right? So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go in the correct direction. And uh, so I'm for raise hand, step forward, I'm forward. And you can see me in my empty stance and my arms look like this and we'll do the move from here. So I'm on that heel, the full heel. My hands rotate, my right palm is out, but now rock back, pull down your arms, pick up that foot and step to the corner. Shift weight, turn your hips. You should be now facing nine o'clock in an empty stance. So that's where you really wanna feel that shift in your body that will allow the move to feel good to you, all right? So this is one of the moves where we circle and close. So my hands are forward. Uh, when I finish there, they look like this and then I rotate so my palms out. I pull down, my left arm circles up, my right arm circles down and they close. This is the closed position with the right, with left fingers over this elbow. Then they separate and go up, all right? Let's put it together and when we go through it, I'm gonna pause and ask you to check where you are with different body parts. So if you're just learning this, you can check where you are. Let's go ahead and I'll stand here so we're going in the same direction. Empty stance, heel touch. Start from raise hand, step forward. Is your right, are, is your right hand palm down, left hand palm down, but angled? And are you in an empty stance on the heel? Okay, first I want you to Rotate your arms, is your right palm out, and can you see your left palm? All right, now rock back and free that foot, circle down. Is your right foot free? Can you pick it up and put it to the corner? Have you circled and closed your arms? Okay, shift your weight, is your weight heavier on the right? Separate, put the ball down. Okay, check yourself. Do you have more weight in the back, more weight sitting back, and you're on the ball of the foot in the left foot? Is your right hand overhead palm out and is your left hand down? All right, okay. So let's go ahead and from single whip, do uh, raise hand, step forward, and white crane, then we're going to go on, all right? So we're going to go to the uh, single whip position. Uh, from here. So we, my single whip position is to nine o'clock, is to nine o'clock. All right, so your, le your left hand is straight to nine o'clock and your uh, right hand has a hook. You're in a bow step, so you have space between and your left foot is straight to nine o'clock. Raise hands, step forward. Shift weight right, turn in to the corner. Shift weight left, open that hook. Are your arms open? Circle, pick up the right foot, step with the heel, rock onto the heel, and here's that end position where your fingertips on the left point to the right. White crane, 
Rotate your hands, right palm out, you see your left palm. Pull down as you rock back. Circle, close step. Now move your weight to the right leg as you shift. Turn your hips, spread, ball touch, empty stance. Good. Okay, any questions here? I know it's kind of fast, but this is just a chance for you to, re to follow and to refresh, knowing that if you're new, there's a lot, I'm sure, left to still learn. But any questions left that people want to ask before we move on? We're going to go to the brush knees, okay? At the beginning of class, I had said that I didn't know if people wanted a class next week. It's Memorial Day. A lot of people are gone. But I don't know that we have time to get through everything for today. So I'll check in with you at the end of class to see if that's something you'd like. All right. But let's move ahead. Let's go ahead and talk about the brush knees. Let's do them first. The brush knee sequence includes loot. So we're going to start from white crane. Let's do the brush knee sequence. You're in an empty stance, ball touch, right hand overhead. Okay, left brush knee, rotate your arms, you can see your right palm. Bring down the right, left up, pushing back, swing, step out with the heel for a bow step. Your right arm comes in, left sweeps, and you turn to nine o'clock. Hands from salute, someone grabs you and you yield, step in. Push back with the ball, turn your body to the corner, Heel touch, empty stance, and when you finish, you're in the mirror image of raise hand, step forward. Your left hand is higher and your right hand is lower. Left brush knee, rotate, look at your right palm, press with the left, swing and step out for a bow stance. Arm in, sweep and strike. Right brush knee, shift back to middle, lift up that left arm. Now your arms come together in the middle while you open that foot. Move forward, swing, press, step out for a bow step, sweep and strike. <coughs> right, uh, left brush knee, shift to middle and lift. Hands together, move forward, swing right, press left, step. Right arm in, sweep left and strike. Hands strum salute, yield forward. Now bring that foot in, just a little touch with the toe, push back with the left ball, heel touch, rock, 30%. Left brush knee, swing, step, arm in, and strike. All right, so if we look at this sequence, we say, well, what's really important to take away from what you're trying to learn? I would say the coordination here is really, really a significant feature. That's the idea that when my arms get to the end point here, I step with the heel. So in order to do that, I have to get this leg, this left leg that's going to step ready. So if I'm like this, I've got 30% on this front foot and I've got 70% back. But honestly, if I tried to step just from here, it's really hard. I, it's like I'm not very agile. I, I can't lift it up gently or delicately. I'll thump down. So I don't want to thump. I want to be able to, so I have to kind of release that leg by pushing back a little bit. So let's practice the stepping. Well, I'll do the arms because I want you to see that when my arms get to the end, but we're trying to coordinate here. So I'm rotating, I see my right palm. My right hand comes down, left up, push back, get that leg light, step. That was the point. So let's just do getting our arms to the corner and stepping and working on that coordination. We did this last week when we talked about right and left ward off, that there was a close and step. It's the same concept, all right? So I'm going to get my arms to the end and step out with the heel. Again, rotate, swing arms, step. That's the coordination throughout this with the brush knees. Okay, let's do the full brush knee and see if we're keeping ourselves moving. Rotate, swing, there's the coordination, step. 
Now, as you move, bring the arm in and sweep. Keep moving into a bow step. Okay. What's important to take from this is something we talked about last week also from a uh, single whip, is that when I step out, I step with the heel edge, but I have to keep moving. When I move to middle, my foot comes down, and then I bend to get into my bow step. But it's very smooth. I don't break it up. So it's heel touch, then the ball and the toe, and I bend. And part of the coordination is when I finish the move with my arms, my legs are also finishing. So that's a concept throughout uh, all the form. So I'm going to uh, do it here so you can see that. You can do it with me in any direction. But for those of you who want to see that coordination, so left brush knee, I rotate, I swing, my arms get to the end, and I step with the heel. I move to middle as the arm comes in on the right. I keep moving and I strike and bend. All right? So again, starting from white cream. Rotate, swing, arms get to the end. I step with the heel. I move to middle as the right arm comes in, sweep left. I keep moving as I bend and strike. All right. So we're going to take that coordination through all of the brush knees, all right? What we're going to practice right now is just brush knees, going back and forth, right and left. We're going to eliminate loot for the moment, just for the moment. And I'm going to face uh, this. Uh, I can face the regular direction. You'll still see the timing. The important thing is the timing. If you're um, still trying to coordinate your body here, you might understand this position. The next position is this, this. The right arm in, left arm out as you push, move forward to middle weight. Move forward to middle weight. So it's one, I'm on the heel, two, I'm in middle weight, three, I bend. All right? So let's go ahead. We're just going to do left brush knee, right brush knee, left brush knee, Right brush knee. We're not going to do the lutes here so that you can practice the coordination. All right? So from white crane. Ready? Left brush knee. Rotate. See your right palm. Right down. Left up. Go back. Swing. Step with the heel. Here's this middle position. And then finish with your strike. Right brush knee. Shift to middle. Lift up part way. Open the foot, close your arms. Now here it comes. Move, swing, step with the heel. Move to middle, get to that middle position, and strike. Left brush knee, shift to middle and lift up. Look at your right palm, open the foot. Move, swing, step. There's that out. Two, middle, three, strike. Let's do right brush knee again. Shift back and lift. Arms in, open. Move. When your arms get there, you step with the heel. Get to the middle position and strike. Okay, let's do the left brush knee one more time. Shift up, bring arm to halfway. Open. Move, get to the end and step. Middle and strike. All right, okay, that's the coordination of the brush knees, which is really important um, and, and worth working on it uh, as you start to get it. Um, how are people feeling about it? I know you're at all different levels in working on it, but how are people feeling, okay? So, so, okay, any specific questions, feel free to ask, um, but I, I'm going to show you another aspect of that move that might help you uh, feel it. Okay. Um, I've been talking about bringing the arms in. I want to show it to you in case that's confusing people. The transition from left to right. So suppose I'm like this. This is my left. It could look like your right. And I want to get to the next brush knee. I shift. Remember we were just talking about this is my heel. This is my middle position where I'm kind of equal. And this is my bow step. So we use that middle position here. I'm in my bow step. 
I shift back to middle and lift this arm part way. So this is, here's the show you this. I shift back to middle and lift the arm. Shift back to middle. If you shift back all the way, it's too much. You can't get back forward. You don't need to go back so far. We only go back all the way when we really need to pick up the foot the full way. All right, so you're going to the middle. So I shift to middle, and now watch what happens. My arms are both out by my shoulders sort of level. When this leg opens, my arms look like this in the middle. So they're out, and they close in. So some of you who've been doing this should be able to feel this move. Close in. Okay. That will get you ready to move forward so that you can then, so when I go here and here, I'm already the right up, left swings down, swing and step. Then I'm back into the brush knee. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about loot so we can add loot in. All right. Loot we do from a brush knee. And when we do it, we're going from a bow step to an empty stance. So how do we get there? We get there. I'll do it this way and then the other direction. We get there. I'm going to move. I'm in both step. I move my weight forward, which means my back leg. I go sort of up on the ball. It frees it up. I can touch in. Then I can shift back on the ball of my left foot. That frees it up. I pick up, put the heel on, and rock 30%, okay? So again, it's the shifting weight that lets you move that leg. So if you've been doing Tai Chi and you, keep, you feel like, oh gosh, I feel like I'm kind of clumping a lot as opposed to stepping gently, it might be because you're still trying to learn how to shift that weight. You cannot move without shifting weight. If we want to go forward, we shift back a little bit. Um, Sometimes we shift forward first and then we shift back, okay? But we're always shifting weight. That's what allows us to manage our body lightly, all right? Let's go in the correct direction and be in left brush knee and talk about loot. I'm in brush knee. I'm in a bow step with my left foot to nine o'clock, my right arm out, all right? So remember someone's grabbing me. So I, I yield forward and... Notice how my back foot is now light. Is your heel off the ground? Pick up that foot, bring it in, and the toe still to the corner. Shift back and push back with this front foot. Pick it up, put the heel down, and rock 30%. I was only talking about the footwork here. We'll, we'll, we'll add the arms in a minute. Let's do that again from a, from a bow step. Yield forward and make that back foot, the heels up. Pick up the foot, put the toe in. Now move back and push with the ball of the foot. Pick up, put the heel in, and rock 30%. All right? Okay, so that's going from one uh, bow step to the empty stance. Now the arms, when someone grabs you and you yield, then essentially you're going to pull them back. And so your, your body turns and your arm comes back so that your hand ends uh, pretty much at your heart level. So I'm here and someone grabs me. When I come back and turn my body, turn. So if I'm here, I yield. I turn my body. See how my arm comes in here. Okay. Because what we're going to end up with is an up-down movement. It's a split energy up-down. So the left goes up, the right comes down, and when you end up, you're just the opposite of white crane. All right? So that my left palm is facing down, my fingertips are pointing to mid-forearm. All right, let's put that into this move. So a hand strums the lute. Yield forward and touch in. Push back on the ball. And now here, you notice I have my uh, left hand, the palm is to the side. 
I'll do that again. Yield forward, touch in, come back. My left palm's to the side. I touch with my heel, and as I rock, I lift up left, and the right comes down, and I end up in this final position. So this is an up-down movement. I'll do it from this side. Yielding forward, step in, come back, heel touch, left up, right down a little bit. They end up like that. All right? I will tell you that personally, I found Handstrom Salute to be one of the hardest moves in the form for me. It took me a very long time to get the feel of that move. I don't know how, how great I am at it now, but it certainly feels better to me now. I feel the up-down movement better. So let's go ahead and put the brush knee with the lute, okay? Just to practice, practice it. We'll start from white crane and we'll do the whole brush knee sequence. White crane, from the white crane position is empty stance, ball touch, right arm up, left arm down. Empty stance, 70% of your weight's in the back. Left brush knee, rotate your arms. Do you see your right palm? Pull the right down, left up, push back. Swing, coordinate, step. Move to middle as your arm comes in and you sweep. Turn to nine o'clock and bend your knee. Hands strum salute, reaching forward as you step in. Push back on the ball, turn your body to the corner. Left palm to the side, pick up your heel. Rock 30%, left up, right down. Left brush knee, shift back. You see your right palm, press left, swing, step. Coordination, arm in as you go to the middle and strike. Here's the right brush knee. Remember, you shift to middle and lift the arm up halfway. You bring those arms in as you open, move forward, swing, press, step. Move to middle as you sweep and strike as you get to nine o'clock. Left brush knee, shift back, lift to middle, arms in open, swing, press, step. Get to middle as your arm comes in, keep moving and strike. Hands from salute, yield forward and touch in. Push back on the ball, body turns, Heel touch, rock 30%. Left brush knee, shift back, see your right palm, press left, get to the end, step. Arm in and strike. Uh, actually, can't remember which we've done. Let's do another loot. Yield <laughs> forward, I mean, this might be our third one. Step in, push back. Heel touch, rock. Yeah, I think that was an extra. And left brush knee. Never hurts to have an extra one. Step, sweep, and strike. So those of you who are, I mean, if you're trying to think about these moves, the coordination is very important. Trying to, when your arms get to end, you step. And uh, keeping straight whether you're in an empty stance or a bow stance. So when you finish on an empty stance, you have more weight sitting back. When you finish in a bow stance, you're wider and you have that extra weight forward. So those are important things to take away from that. Okay, so let's just check in with people. Um, how are you doing? Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. It's especially a lot <laughs> on Zoom. But just try to keep absorbing what you can absorb. And know that with Tai Chi, there's always a next time. There's always the next lesson. There's always the next opportunity to learn. And uh, I just told you, you know, it never hurts to do an extra <laughs> hands from salute. Was that an extra one, Rita? Was yeah, yeah. So, so I gave you an extra loop. I said it never hurts to have an extra loot, but it's pretty funny I said that because we had ranking this weekend. And if you if you do an extra one in ranking, pfft, forget it. You, you, it's a real big problem. So you want to keep tr keep in your mind where you are. So I, I guess I just kind of was talking so much I kind of didn't pay attention. But uh, it's pretty ironic that I would say that after being in a situation where I had to remember exactly where I was the whole time in the form. So, okay. 
we're going to go ahead. I tell you, we're going to go ahead so that those of you who couldn't make it next week, you'll have a chance to practice the end, and then we'll see if there are people who want to come next week, okay? Because when we started class, there were only about five of us here, and people were saying, no, they, they, they wouldn't be coming. Next week's a holiday, right? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about parry, block, and punch, which is the next move, and such a challenging move. In parry, block, and punch, we start in a bow step, right? And we are going to a bow step. This is the first, uh, in this sequence here, where we're going from bow step to bow step, other than in the um, ward offs that we did. But we have to get there with a transitional step, and that's what's new here. So if we pick out part of what's new is that we've got a transitional step. A transitional step, we use a single line, and we have our heels on either side of the line, but we're not ending in an empty stance. We're using that to move forward, all right? So if I'm in left brush knee, and I want to use a transitional step, I shift back and I open just the way I do for a right and left brush knee. And I move forward and this foot's going to come and step on a line of that center line and my toe will be 45 degrees. Then I move towards that foot, bring the left foot forward and step out wide into a bow step. So that's reminding you of what the transitional step is, right? We have transitional steps uh, in different ways throughout the form, but parry, block, and punch is one of the most significant ones. So let's do parry, block, and punch together. I'm just going to do it facing, so for people who are newer and want to take a look at it, you can see it. I'm in, we'll do it, and then we'll talk about the upper body movement, but we're really wanting to make sure everybody understands about the uh, transitional step. So I'm in a bow step. Okay, uh, my hands would look like this, all right? It starts just like the transition to right brush knee. I shift to middle and lift up. And I open and my arms are in the center, exactly the same as right brush knee. So when I move forward and pull down and make a fist and swing, I step one line, two sides. And then I come forward and I'm going to step out for the bow stance. This is to get you into the move with the transitional step. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. And we do it with body turning quite a bit. So let me talk a little bit about the body turning. If you remember when we first learned this, we talked about parrying, and parrying is deflecting, and we start by using the inside of the arm and then we continue with the outside of the arm. So I pull down using this part of my forearm, the inside, and then I come up with the outside and I turn to my side. So it's like a figure eight, like a figure eight. We've used this before to talk about turning. And so I pull down and I'll be turning to my left. Then I pull down and I turn it to the right. And when I finish, I turn square. It's very hard to do this movement if you don't get any body turns because you you get a little bit trapped inside all the arm work, right? So let's just practice that figure eight a little bit with body turning. And you're actually using your waist a lot. That pivot point on the back of your lumbar spine is allowing you to twist, okay? So when we pull down and we parry, we start with an open palm. And when we pull down, we make a fist. We turn and the fist is palm down as I get to my back corner. And then when I come up, the back of the palm is forward and it's in front of my arm. Then I turn and I pull it to the side and the palm is up. There's no stopping, I'm just showing you where our points are. So I'm here, I pull down, make a fist, turn, come forward, turn, pull it back, then I turn and punch it forward. <coughs> Excuse me, all right? So let's go ahead, we'll do that. If you know the other hand, you can do it, but concentrate on seeing if you can 
make those turns with your fist arm. So I'm in uh, the left brush knee, my left foot's forward. I shift to middle and lift up halfway. And I bring my arms into the center. I open just like right brush knee. Move forward, make a fist. First turn to the left. And when you get there, step with the heel, toe out. Move forward, weights forward. Pick up the back foot, step as you reach, and turn and punch. So if we talk about the coordination points, just the way we were talking with the other moves, here, the co first coordination is when I pull down my arms and my fists get to the corner, I step one line, two sides. So that's the same as brush knee stepping. It's the same thing to my corner, but I've got a fist, all right? Then, so if everybody's here and we get to this corner, the next coordination point, so I've stepped, is I come forward, I turn, I step with the left, and the fist is to the corner. So here it's this, that's the coordination point, this this, right? Getting here, here. So it's pull down, step, forward, step. So the coordination allows you to step at the same time that you've pulled this back. You're also blocking someone out with this hand, which allows you to step and block. There's another coordination. So when you pull down, if we just talk about the hands, we're like this. I pull down, make a fist. I swing, my left palm is out. The fist comes forward, the left palm just follows it, just follows it, comes forward. But then right arm back, left arm forward. Yin yang, one back, one forward. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water here, please. Sorry about that. And we'll put this all together, do parry, block, and punch. All right. From left brush knee. Shift to middle, lift up. Open foot, close arms. Now move weight, make your fist, swing, get to the corner, step with the heel, Come forward, move weight forward, turn coordination, step and pull the fist back, move forward and finish with a punch in your bow step. Let's do that again and I'll get back so my feet don't get chopped off. Parry, block and punch, shift and lift, just like right brush knee. Now move forward, make your fist Swing, step one line, two sides. Coming forward, coordination, turn, step as the fist comes back. Turn, body square, punch out, finish. So when you're learning this move, it's very easy to do a couple things. It's really easy to get your timing mixed up. That's very normal. It's also very easy to do a kind of a up and down bounce, which if you're a little more experienced, you want to watch out for. An up and down bounce is when people come this and then they stand up and come down, <laughs> stand up. We're trying to keep a, a, an even level. So if you find yourself popping up and down, that's, and you've been doing this for a while, that might be something to watch out for, okay? All right, uh, let's do Perry Blanc and Punch in the correct direction. And then let's go on uh, to a parent closing up, all right? So in the correct direction, left brush knee. My left foot is forward, I'm in a bow stance. Parry, block, and punch. Shift back to middle, lift up. Open and close your arms, just like uh, right brush knee. Pull forward as you move fast, make a fist swing. One line, two sides, come forward, weights forward, turn, step, pull the fist back, turn to nine o'clock and punch. Now from here, check that your left 
forearm, your left palm is across from your right forearm, your fingers point upward. A parent closing up. As you turn left, the left palm flattens, you yield right. Now, bring the left palm up and bring it under the right hand and open your fist. Turn to the right as you shift back and separate your arms. Turn square, your hands are at your chest. Now push forward with your legs and push with your hands. All right, a parent closing up has this shuttle arm, which you need later on in the form. So when I'm here, I start like this, I'm turning left and it's making my hand flatten, turning left a little bit. I'm not turning real far. I'm just turning left and the hand flattens. Then, and, and because I'm turning, my right arm goes forward a little bit. Then I have to bring the right palm up and cross the under as I rotate the right. So the, the turns here are really important. Turn left, come center. And then we turn right and separate. So we turn left, we see our shoulders turn, we come center and we turn right and we turn square. The turn right is bigger than the turn left, all right? We're in a bow step and we don't have to do much until we shift back. So let's practice this upper body a little bit. Start with your punching from the shoulders and your palm left across from the forearm. Turn a little left, have you flattened that left hand? Turn the left hand palm up, rotate right arm and cross them in the middle. You're sort of square now. From here, as we shift, open that fist, pull the right arm back and finish when you sit back with the fingertips of the right pointing to the left forearm, okay? Then turn square as you rotate, you're still shifted back and your hands are at your chest. They're close enough, but you're not collapsed. Then you push forward just like in the move push. Okay, let's do it again like this. We'll do it then correct direction. Turn a little left, flatten and yield. Palm up, come under your square, open fist. Shift back, separate, fingertips right, point left. Turn square, push forward. I absolutely love this move. I like it because I feel it's very tidy. I love it when we shift back and separate. You're getting someone off you. Someone's grabbed you and you're like, get away, get away from me. <laughs> getting off, that's the peanut butter off the knife, okay? All right, let's do it in the correct direction and we'll see how that feels to you. From a left brush knee, or it's in the end of parry block and punch, left bow step, punching. P left palm across from the right forearm. Apparent closing up. Turn a little left, are you yielding right, flattening left? Left palm up, rotate right, you should be crossed under. Now as you shift back, separate, be uh, be a whole frame so your arms aren't collapsed. Turn square close to your chest and push. So one of the things to remember for this, we've talked a bit from the beginning about having a tree and holding the shape, is that when, first of all, we're never collapsed. Our arms aren't in, we hold that. But when we separate, it's such a beautiful moment to feel like you've got that tree shape. You're not closed in your tree, tree. You really, if you have your tree like this and you just kind of keep that feeling, it's a, it's a really nice feeling, all right? And then you're not doing that much with your legs, you're just practicing that shifting, all right? So let's go ahead and do that move again, all right? So a parent closing up from parry block and punch, my right arm's out. My left palm's across from the forearm. A parent closing up. I turn left, that hand flattens and I yield. I rotate left, the palm's up, I'm in the middle. 
And now I shift back, separate, be nice and wide, and then turn square, hands close, push, and finish at the end there. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do the last move now. So those of you who don't have an option for next week uh, will at least get through this much, and then we'll see if anybody wants to come next week for just doing the whole thing. We'll do it with some music and uh, see, see if anybody wants to do that. All right? Cross hands. I'm going to start from this position so I can turn front. I've just done a parent closing up, and I am pushing. Okay? So in cross hands, I'm going to shift back a little bit because I have to be able to move this left foot. I have to turn it and get it to 12 o'clock. I shift back, turn, and I rotate the right hand. I'm going to come across and chop to the corner. My weight's heavy on the right. I shift left, notice my arms rotate, my palms are back. I cross my arms, step with the toe, lift up right, and I'm in double ward off. All right. So let's talk about the footwork and then the arms and the elements that we get from this. I'm in a bow step. Not too much to do, but I shift to middle, I free that left foot, I pivot on the heel, and my toe is square. But notice how you have weight heavy on the right here. It's not a final position. So I have to move my weight to the left, ball of the foot pivots. Now my weight's on the left. I'm free to pick up the right foot, put the toe down, shift my weight to middle, and I'm still bent. My quad is open, my knees are aligned with my feet because I end in this position before I stand up to close, all right? Now the arms, I've been pushing, and I'm turning, and you remember one of the things we've talked about from the beginning is that our body turns and that makes our arms move. The arms don't just flop around. The body turns and our arms move. Okay? So when I'm in this position, I start to turn my body, and this right arm is going to angle. It's going to move. It's like our... It's like getting a little triangles with my hands, okay? I kind of get a little motion there. Then this arm comes up in an arc and down to a corner. It's not a huge, it's not overhead, but and the edge of my hand is what is doing the chopping. Comes and the edge of the hand, this edge, is at the corner. Okay, that's... That's the, the first move as I come and chopping across. But now my weight's on the right, so I have to push to get to the left. This, this left arm has just come along for the ride. Chop to the corner. I've got two arms out. My arms are open. As I shift left, my palms change direction, and now they're back. Back. So that is a place where we're learning how to bring the arms out to the three and nine, and then they, are, they rotate, and the palms go back. And in section, any of you who go on to section two or have already done it, you know you have to do a lot of this, because when you do cloud hands, you do a lot of that rotation, all right? So let's do that much with the footwork. We're pushing. We shift. I'm turning. I'm doing my arc. I'm chopping to the corner. I shift left, my palms go back, my weight's to the left. They circle in, pick up the foot, and when I cross them, I touch with the toe. Then I push up with the right hand against the left, and I end up with this double ward off. In double ward off, I'm crossed not at the wrists, but the forearms, and my hands are horizontal rather than vertical. And I'm big, I'm like a tree, but I'm here, all right? So we end with that very full feeling, all right? Let's go ahead and do that move from push. Shift back, turn, chop, left toe straight. Shift weight to the left, rotate, get your palms back. They circle, 
close touch, push up with the right, B in double ward off. All right? Okay. So when you finish in double ward off, if you know the rest of the form, you go on to the next move from there. But because we're just doing section one here, we go into closing. And so closing is done at the end as well. But from double ward off, this is closing. Let's do it together. We stand and extend our arms in front of us with the palms up. Now from here, we do little circles with the whole arm from the shoulder. Now my palm is down. And I press down just like in opening. And I'm at the bottom, my fingers are forward. And I pause here. And then I come back to the original position. And you do this at the end of the form as well. All right. So we are clearly at the end of our time. I know many of you are not going to be available next week. So I want to thank any of you who have been here, um, whether you can come next week or not. I think since I said I'd be here and some of you might want to be here, I'll show up. If anybody shows up, we'll practice together. And if nobody shows up for 10 minutes, we probably won't have class. So I'll go ahead and do it that way. But for those of you who will not be here because it's a holiday, I want to thank you. Um, teaching newcomers on section one. I know a lot of you aren't newcomers, but we had newcomers. Some of you are. Congratulations on sticking with it for sure. It is a very different experience um, to do it on Zoom. So I hope you will give yourself a chance to keep going with it and discover that you can learn this and that also, you know, the world is going to open up a little and we may have some opportunities. I also want to thank Rita, who has been so wonderful to carry on with the practices. She's taken care of me in so many ways, doing the recordings and <laughs> showing up all the time. So thank you, Rita, so much. Thanks, Rita. Yes. Rita will be teaching Section 2 starting in July, I think. And so you can keep your eyes out for that as well. Didi will be doing Section 1. As you know, you can class hop. You can go to as many classes at all different organizations as you want. You don't have to always <laughs> be in sequence. You can try things out and get, uh, get exposed. You can go and you can just kind of take a peek, find out what a section is about, even if you're not ready to learn it. All right. So I want to thank you for your patience. Uh, it has really been a challenge, but I'm so grateful to those of you who have shown up and stuck with me and done Tai Chi with me just to do Tai Chi and enjoy. I hope that it has brought you uh, some pleasure and some learning. Um, please don't hesitate to contact me if I can be of help to you as you kind of process what this class has been about or if you have any follow-up questions, you'll certainly see me around the school. We do have Saturday practice and everybody is always invited to that. Um, the section one practice on Saturday is just 15 minutes, but it's very concentrated. So uh, you get some real practice in there. And then we go on to the other sections as well. So I really want to thank you and I want to invite you to continue to your Tai Chi and to don't, uh, the one don't I would tell you is don't compare yourself to other people. Be where you are and trust your learning that you don't need to be anybody else in this process. You simply need to find some pleasure and some joy in studying Tai Chi, and then you will be moving forward. And there's really no timeline. It's the rest of our lives for us who are committed to Tai Chi. So let's go ahead and close class with a salute. Thank you everyone so much. And um, if you do know that you want to come next week, I would love it if you would let me know either now or another time, uh, just so I know what to expect. But honestly, there's no pressure. If it doesn't work out for you and I show up and nobody's here, that's okay with me. I will, I will wait for somebody and then <laughs> I'll practice or do something else, all right? And if I don't see you, have a wonderful holiday and good luck this summer with all the opening and gentle steps out into the community for all of us. Abhi Thank